I mentioned we had um, 88 post offices that received artwork. I didn't mention that um, a small percentage have not survived. Um, and this little cluster over here on, against this wall, we tell the story of one of those lost artworks. And it was a, a really nice piece that um, was created for the Aliquippa Post Office. Folks know where Aliquippa is. It's in western Pennsylvania above Pittsburgh to the, to the west and north of Pittsburgh. Um, it, was, it was a landscape, sort of, that was created by a fellow named Niall Spencer, who, who was known as a precisionist. And uh, Kurt, you're standing right in front of this. I'm sorry, I'll have to bump you out of here just for a second. This is a, um, a black and white archival image that we enlarged um, that shows you the composition that was created by Niall Spencer here. As a precisionist, and again, I'm, I'm sort of faking my art history knowledge here, Precisionists worked in, they simplified geometric forms. In this case, it was the first time Niall Spencer had been to a steel town, and he was really quite taken with Aliquippa, spent several weeks doing sketches before he came up with this composition, which obviously the original was in color. Um, if you look at this panel um, and get a chance to look at it more closely, this is what the artwork looks like today. It's in very bad shape. The sad story behind this artwork is that in the late 60s, uh, the Aliquippa Post Office did a renovation. They didn't, the folks doing the renovation had no idea how to get this artwork off the wall, so they literally scraped it off, rolled it up, put it in the basement where it suffered more flaking, more water damage, and was eventually sort of rescued by the Smithsonian American Art Museum where it still now resides in storage. So what we did for, for the, to try to recreate this is, we again, we found the original um, archival work, and to give people a sense of the palette that, um, that uh, Niall Spencer was using, we were able to secure this easel painting from the Rhode Island School of Design. It was called Steel Country, and it, it has some of very much the same forms here. A lot of these artists, when they went into these towns, they saw it as an opportunity to sort of find a new subject matter, and that was the case with uh, Niall Spencer.